All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got another match in the campaign against cancer. This is the fourth round of six. This match between Damon on the left and Steven on the right. Damon flying quad phantoms here, three with Juke, one naked. Um, on the other side, Steven flying that rebel beef. Wedge, Tinnum, Braylon, and Cassian. Which do you dislike more? Let me know in the chat. Somebody was asking why you would bring cancer to the uh, campaign against cancer event. Oh well. Because somebody needs to fight cancer. So cancer here. Exactly. You know what? Fight fire with fire. We've got Rebel Beef versus Quad Phantoms. <laughs> so these guys, uh, one harding out the gate. Probably cloaking. Going to go ahead and turn away from the B-Wings. You know what? I should find out which of these... Uh, which one's Tin and which one's Braylon. I'll be right back. Alright. Tin Num is blue. Braylon is orange. Ah. Uh. To all the players who paint their uh, ships that are the same model, different colors, so that I can tear, tell them apart, you know what, you're, you're the true heroes. Right after the cancer researchers, of course. All right. There we go. Yep, so we see cloaks there from all four phantoms. I would imagine they're going to decloak forward. They're kind of stuck between a rock and the board edge. A proverbial hard place there. Just double check something. Okay. Just making sure the uh, overlay was updating. Got Cassian in the middle there. Seems like a good place for him. Uh, he is heading towards the debris. We see two decloak forward from the Phantoms. Who do you think they're going after? I mean, Wedge is definitely a real problem for these Phantoms, so they could definitely be going out of their way to go after Wedge first. And with this debris to the left of Wedge, he can't exactly hard turn and let the uh, let the other rebels take point. I think you might see the B-Wings go as fast as they can and maybe Wedge go one forward. Yep, there's the decloak forward. Didn't really have another option there. Probably not going to split up the formation. And good luck uh, for Tin and Braylon trying to catch up with these phantoms. You don't really, you, you don't often see the four ship rebel list deployed this spread out. I've seen people, you know, put Wedge off to the side so that he can flank, but never with the U wing and the B wings this far apart. They're definitely in different, distinct lanes with these obstacles. Let's see if he banks or goes straight. So he goes straight. He's still... Well, no, no. Yeah. He goes straight one, and he's got plenty of room between himself and the debris in front of him to bank next turn if that's where the, uh, the phantoms go. Yeah, here's a... Uh, looks like a three bank for the B-Wing. Yeah, 
Yep, there's the stress because that is a red maneuver for the B-Wings now. Everybody knows these B-Wings don't mind being stressed. Here's a two. Didn't want to go on that debris and get double stressed. That's no good. Cassian will help you out with that, but... Ooh, does he have room to barrel up? This is not the turn to uh, try to barrel roll if you can't. Eh, he goes for it. Cannot fit in there behind. <clears throat> All right, back to dials we go. And that looks about like what I thought it would. Uh, oh, no, we haven't. <laughs> back to dials. He's just moving his dials out of the way because he is activating these ships. I am an insane person. Let's move the Phantoms, <laughs> and then let's move Wedge. I did... I kind of thought these Phantoms might... Uh, might bank, but that would maybe show their hand that they're going after Wedge. And that's the thing with these Phantoms, because of the decloaks, he can just cloak up this turn and then decloak up the top of the board. Yeah, they should have never let me stream without a co-host. Oh, boy. I just had a water burger here in Florida. And uh, I'm in a bit of a food coma. All right. So, focus of aid. Going to see that a lot. Yep, one forward from Wedge, yeah. I think that's the right play. So next turn. Uh, decloaks up the top of the board for the Phantoms, and then maybe two forward, maybe one banks. I don't think you need to bank. Roll right. What you talking about? A wedge, maybe? Pretty just gonna roll right over that debris. Yeah. Now, does Cassian go forward? The debris's not that big of a deal for Cassian. If he goes forward with like a two, the next turn he can just stop and turn around. He just wants to be able to shoot if these if these phantoms go up the board and then two straight towards wedge and the uh, U-wing overcommitted and went forward too much it's no good but if it one banks and then these phantoms do something surprising it's no good either Yeah, Maui in the chat. Well, if the Phantoms want to stick together, they have to decloak de left. Yeah, there's not... There's probably not enough room to the right. But the reward is a bunch of B-Wings who probably overcommit and go into the middle of the board facing the top. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything too surprising, but with Quad Phantoms, man, you never know. So we've got, uh, so Cassian's going to, he could potentially take that stress away from Tinnum. That doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm just trying to think, 
You're not going to see a super fast maneuver out of Braylon, right? Let's double check what that B-Wing can do. Yeah, four forwards red. So you don't want to do that because you don't want to be double stressed. So he's going to have to stick with like a three forward. It's not terrible. Oh, good point. Mike in the chat says you can uh, you can pop Leia for it. That's right. Yeah, really, uh, really zoom, really get out there, really put the pedal to the metal. All right. Yep, we're going up the top of the board. Okay. No surprises here. And he looks like he's rolling them backwards. Yeah, so he's trying to keep his distance. Definitely wants that range control. Doesn't want Wedge forcing a bump or being able to arc dodge with a possible um, boost. Let's see, can we see? Yeah, those S foils are closed right now on Wedge. We'll see if they stay that way. I think we have any other system stuff no there's no there's no bombs here all right which way yep one bank so he he saw this coming it's a good position although it makes the uh the stop a little weird if he ever does that also triangular focus token that's going to confuse me definitely going to think that's a stress too hard out of Braylon. Too straight, even. <laughs> and looks like a three. Yep. Gonna go over the debris. As long as he misses the Cassian, he's fine. Yes, the orange one is Braylon. The blue one is Tinnum. Yep, you're right. I probably got that backwards. My bad. I put it in the overlay to remind me and didn't work. Yep, too forward from the uh, Phantoms here. So there are going to be a lot of arcs on these phantoms. Um, it does look like they get a little bit of debris cover, at least for Tinnum. Probably get a little bit of range from Tinnum as well. Might be in range two for Braylon. Cassian's going to hurt, and Wedge is going to hurt even more. like Wedge is running his S foils are open so that just means Cassian's gonna have to eat it yep there's the boost and he should be relatively safe this top left phantom might have a shot can they PS kill Cassian mm, 369 12 
eight hole, what, 12 dice? Three times four, yeah. With juke. It's, if there's, if that's a range one, it could be even more. So wedge has no shots. We'll do the first one. Looks like two. <laughs> Takes one shield, it looks like, on Cassian. Two. Spins the focus. So this is the third phantom. Ooh, he's not rolling real great. Spins the focus. Takes a shield. I think that's all the shields on Cassian, actually. All right, range one, four dice. He's going to spend it. One, two, and a crit. That's half points on Cassian. Ooh, and another damage. Looks like double stress, so that would be panicked. And now the Rebels are going to get some return fire. Can they take out this one non-juke phantom? That doesn't seem like a great... Ooh, two blanks. Looks like one evade. Now Braylon's going to get a shot. cocked into a blank and Braylon's going to re-roll it looks like three looks like a shield on number one oh it's a shield on the one without juke I might have to rename these confusing for a second. All right, what did I miss? <laughs> so Cassian shot into number one. Looks like one shield gone on the Phantom without Juke, and Cassian hurt severely. I'm going to double check that... Uh, crit on Cassian. I know we got a panicked pilot, but I think that was flipped, so let's see what the one that isn't flipped is. Damage sensor array on Cassian, which isn't too bad, given that he's double-stressed. He's not going to be taking a, an action anytime soon. So 26 points to zero. Um, yeah, that's cr so crazy. All those, those three arcs on that uh, Phantom. Unable to... Oh, let's take... You know what? That's what happened. Got to make sure we're uh, we're crediting. Uh, the non-juke phantom because he's worth less. 
What have I done? <sighs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> why you can't jou joust the quad phantoms. Just move forward to the bottom. Look, I got this under control. Wedge is gonna turn in behind the phantoms. Yeah, for sure. Do they decloak towards him? I could decloak forward. I mean, they've... Hmm. All right, here come the decloaks. So he decloaks two down. This is something I was wondering about. If he would split up to turn towards Wedge. Ooh, is he going to fit in there? Yeah, he's got it. Like a glove. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> Did everything right, but you know what? If you don't remove your finger at the right time. All right, so he decloaks two to the right and two to the left, and this is when quad phantoms gets real fun. Pretty sure those ones at the bottom are gonna one hard left. Looks like a two bank out of Cassian. Oh, that's a hard turn. Well, that's not going to relieve that stress. He's uh, he's resigned to his fate. He's here to block, if at all possible. There's a bank maneuver out of Tin Num. Does the focus into a failed barrel roll to get the stress as well. Two bank should fit just in there. Keeps his stress. Yep, there's the hard turns. <laughs> now, where is Wedge going to go to run from this? I like the idea of a kiting Wedge, though, if he's just like three banks and boosts. Ooh, one bank. Does he hit Cassian? Uh, 
Uh, I think he bumped. This guy didn't know. Nicely done. Should be able to finish off Cassian there. I think he opened his wings, yeah. He's looking to bring some pain. That was a talent roll. Okay. No focus. That's kind of scary. We could all concentrate into the damaged phantom who didn't get an action. I mean, that seems like such a juicy target. Oh, you think he did Leia? Oh, you know what? There's an easy way to find out. Yep. All those Leia charges are flipped. Yep, so he barrel rolls. Ooh. That is one spicy maneuver. He might just get out of that. Not going to be out of the second one. So let's get to shooting. I think he's going to take that range one. Yep. 4v1. Blank, blank. I think he gets an evade. Takes one shield. Ugh. Feels bad, man. That's in number four. Who I'd already accidentally taken a shield off of. Yeah, sorry. This black one in the middle that bumped into Cassian does not have juke. All right, this looks like the uh, this looks like Braylon. Ooh, that's a lot. One shield and a crit goes through. find out what that crit is in the break here. So that was Braylon, so 10 numb. Looking for an unobstructed shot. I think he's got it right down the bullseye into that corner. He has a focus. And, ooh, that's going to be all paint. There's a blank. He's taken two at least. He's going to spin the evade. Here's another crit. All right, 23 to 26. Damon's still in the lead. He can knock Cassian out and, uh, and take it right back. All right, you know what? I'm closing bets. Anytime Maui bets, you know it's time to close those bets. Uh, it looks like two spins it for. Still takes one. Okay, never mind. Jukes it. Yeah. Cassian's going to stay on there until all the fours have engaged. <laughs> Rerolls it with Braylon. It sure looks like he was fine. Gonna shoot into wedge here, range one. Looks 
like two. Jukes. And looks like shield's gone on wedge. All right, Cassian's gone. So what crits do we need to find out about here? All right, that top phantom has two crits. Let's go find out what those are. Damage sensor array and structural damage for number one. Structural damage. Man, if Wedge gets a shot on him, he just has to take whatever he gives. And he can't recloak. That phantom is a dead man walking. He's going to probably try and force bumps if he can. It's going to be hard when you can't barrel roll. So looks like all but one could recloak. It's hard to see cloak tokens on these uh, phantoms in the middle. I don't think they did. So let's see, Braylon and Tindum are both stressed. There's no Cassian in here to take it away anymore. No Leia to make their red maneuvers white. They gotta play regular old fashioned X-Wing where you gotta make decisions. And you pretty much gotta move forward. Uh, do we see 4Ks coming out of the the two uh, phantoms facing the top of the board? Or do you just hard one turn and try to shoot the B-Wings? Okay, there's those cloak tokens. <laughs> They're just really hard to see. That's fine. So we're going to decloak left. Does the other one fit in there? Yeah, he should. Should be able to roll it backwards. Yep. So maybe they are doing K turns. Uh, they could probably too hard turn toward or through wedge. spread on those phantoms. All right. Braylon, where are you going, buddy? One forward. Relieves the stress. Looks like he just fits in there. 
pretty good position to engage that top phantom. Might want to barrel roll. To the right and backwards, maybe. What do you think that guy's doing? A one hard? I would think one hard towards the middle. Because if he one hards, he can just barrel roll right out of your arc. Goes for the barrel roll. Yeah, and a one hard from that phantom. He still would have some repositioning, but it's going to be harder for him to get out of that arc. And look at this. One bank out of 10 num. Relieves the stress and takes it. Oh, nope. Does not go over that debris. I'm going to say we need to see a, a roll for that debris, but nope. Pretty good position. He could barrel roll left. I'm worried about those phantoms on the left of him, though. If they're doing hard two turns, you don't want to go towards them. He's going to do it. All right, here's the bank maneuver. The Black Phantom. So it looks like he dodged pretty much everything. Flips over the only one he can because he has to keep structural. So damage sensor array he is gone. So he may, if he lives, he can at least get rid of. Or he could at least recloak. Uh, here is a hard turn from the Phantom at the top of the board. He's going to try and barrel roll and get out of range one. Probably f push as forward as possible. Wants to get as as close to being out of that arc as possible, but I don't think he makes it. All right, Wedge. Nope, we got to do these first. <laughs> I'll learn this eventually. Uh, ooh, going to do the, uh, the old side trick. So I guess they do have three hards. That was my question that I was unwilling to research the answer to. Three hards on the TIE Phantom. That's a good looking dial. I think the tempting thing to do would be to barrel roll to get behind Tendum, but if the other Phantom is doing a three hard, you don't want to get in that way. Oh, nope, he's just doing a one. Okay. Probably would have been a good barrel roll then. Might have still gotten in the way, maybe. If you rolled it forward, it would have been fine. It's kind of hard to predict those things. Um, but I like it. I think they want to let Wedge... He didn't want to block Wedge, I guess. He wanted to let Wedge go forward so this guy could fish him, finish, him, finish him off. Great maneuvers there from the Phantoms, actually. Put Wedge right where they want him. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's not a lot of... You could barrel roll wedge, that's... There's no reason to do that. Uh, did he... His wings are open, so even if there was a gap to the left, he would be boosting into range one in front of the other two. That was such a good net cast by these phantoms here. Takes a focus. Yeah, he's going to try and shoot into this phantom here. Range two, looks like it's unobstructed. Uh, I? Is that? That's two. And he had damaged, uh, he was structural, so no matter what he did, as long as he got one hit, guaranteed kill. So there's one phantom off the board, 46 to 51, but Wedge is not long for this world. Uh, Tenum looking for a shot on that top phantom. Spins the stress for three. As number two, who loses both shields. Here's Braylon. Rerolls, spins the f focus. There's a blank. Spin. Thinking about it. Blue, thanks for the follow. Where's my subscriber sound? Where's my follower sound. go. Still thinking about it. Let's double check. Am I? Okay, Wedge doesn't have any damage yet. No damage cards. So spins the token. Takes two. On number three. So that's half points. Forty-six to fifty-one. All right, there's a damage on the wedge. There's two more on the wedge. Two crits. All right, I've got to find out what those crits are. I think Wedge lived. So this is into uh, Tin Num. Gonna elusive. It looks like he lost two shields on Tindum. All right, I'm going to double check on those uh, wedge crits. I'll be right back. Weapons failure and structural damage. The game took his dice and said one less on each of these. They said, Wedge, you like your uh, your attack value of three and your evade value of two? No, no, no. Not anymore. <laughs> 
so one of the phantoms is off the board. That's great. How is number four at one hull and two shields? That's literally impossible. Let's fix that. Oh, so number three, that's what happened. There we go. I just didn't, didn't take his shields off. All right. So, three, yeah, hmm. There it is. So discussion in the chat about whether you spin the evade um, so that you can guarantee the kill on wedge. I don't. I don't think so. I think you keep your keep your ship around because either you die this turn because you don't have the evade or because you take the damage, or you live to fight another turn. Maybe wedge PS kills you, then you're in the same boat or you get them in, in an even better position. So we've got stress on Braylon at the top. Probably just gonna too hard turn. We've got recloaks for two of these, it looks like. Guy at the top obviously spent that evade, so he did not recloak. Decloak towards the bottom here. Definitely going to one hard turn in. Decloak to the top. Hey, Dexy, thanks for the follow. All right, here come the B wings. Tendum's going to start us off. Is that a 2K? Sure is. Takes a stress, but B wings are okay with that. I wonder if he just one banks behind him. Yep. Wow. Nice. Good amount of coverage there from the B-Wings. Probably focus barrel roll into 10 num Would you like to join? Sure, I'll hop in for a bit. Plug in. So you'll just hear the line mixer and not the... Yeah. yeah. All How's right. it going, Scott? Good. How's it going, Steven? Good. Very well. Uh, so you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, my name is Steve Sesnick. I'm uh, 
the TO of the Campaign Against Cancer here in Jacksonville, Florida. So I've been running around all day doing raffles and prizes and keeping everybody organized and on the right tables. So, <laughs> But what else do you do? Because there's been a certain plug that has been in every single episode, and you <laughs> yeah. might as well fit it in the third or the I guess, fourth so one. Yeah, we'll keep going, yeah. Um, I'm, also, <laughs> <laughs> I'm also the host of the Florida Man Plays X-Wing podcast. Uh, you know, our, our uh, co-host Joe was here earlier uh, with Scott, so... Um, I figured I'd join in since Joe had to leave and uh, and help out a little bit. So I, I almost had a Florida man free cast here. Almost, but yeah. Whoops. <laughs> well, you're in Florida, so you, can't <laughs> yeah, get, you, you know can't what? I can't get, get away from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you came here of your own free will. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, so we've got a tenuous situation here. Actually, 72 to 77. Very close. Oh yeah. Wow. Um, one of these Sigmas, very close to death. Wedge, obviously, yeah. very close as well. Very lucky to escape that last round. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, so a barrel roll there. I think this is the one that was hurt. He ran away and uh, cloaked. Okay. One Looks bank like he, at the... Uh... Yeah. Looks like he might have gotten himself in a, some good blocking spot there, too. Yeah. On to the debris with this one. A lot of really bad debris plays oh, yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, debris killing people. Um, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of people critting their pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> that's, always my, that's always my favorite. <laughs> Did he go for... You a 3-4? That's a weird way to mark it, but that's yeah. fine. So. I guess he did, he did it so he could get the template far enough out of the yeah. way. Yeah. Smart. Is that a K-turn? Is that four? That is a K-turn. All right. Well, that guy with one hole is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> He's cloaked with structural damage. Oh, so, so, th so, so three dice? Four, minus one for wedge, minus oh, so one two. for structural so damage. He's back to two. He's back to two. <laughs> All the good that cloaked it. <laughs> yep. Uh, no Leia on the board, so that is red. Um, no mods for Wedge. Four v two. Should definitely be in Wedge's favor. Can he take down? Yeah. Actually, I see three dice, and is maybe he... that's not the damaged one. I don't know. No, it's three. So he's he must be firing up here. Maybe this isn't the uh, the damaged one. Maybe. The structural guy is dead. What? Oh, you're right. Sorry. Nope. Uh, oh, right. okay. That one up there. All right. So this is range one here. This must be from... Does he have... All right, there's the last damage card. That guy's dead. Yeah. Yep, there it goes. 97 to 77. Steven back in the lead. Still pretty tight. Yeah. Those, uh... I mean, these guys are probably going to kill Wedge right here. It's very possible. Yeah, oh yeah. This is obstructed range 2. 3v3. It's like one. one. Oh, Ooh, is that a blank out on Wedge? Like He's out. gone. Yeah. <laughs> 103 to 97, the lead goes yeah. back to Damon. Yep. Yeah. All right, into 10 num here, range one. 10 num. The B wings are still pretty full, though. Yeah. Only and one. one yeah. 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 Takes it. That's fine. And that should be it. <clears throat> All right, back to dials. Uh, a stressed Braylon at the top. That's going to be, there's no Cassian here to relieve it. No yeah. Leia here to give him a white K, uh, K turn or Talon. So he's just going to have to one bank, maybe barrel roll. Yeah. Uh... Well, I mean, it is Braylon. He could just uh, keep the 
keep the yeah, stress you're right. and, you could just and do hard. a white maneuver and he's still gonna get his re-rolls if that's yep. if that puts him in a better spot. Let's see, which one is the uh the, so the one at the top is cloaked, right? Yeah. This guy's that guy uh, should be stressed from the the boot. Yeah. And he's going to go over that debris again. Yep. Yeah, Mike. I don't think the uh, I don't think the guy on the debris is recloaked. You think he did? Okay. He uses tokens. Yeah, there, there goes the decloak. He uses uh, these very transparent lime oh, green tokens. Okay. It's very tough to see them. Yeah, <laughs> but only for one of these. These are fun. Um, so decloaks left. You're right. That was the only way he could go. Yeah, I gotta get some of those curled paw stream tokens. Yeah, yeah. There'll never be a mistake made. Need, need to get a set. On tokens. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Did did he do the too hard? Nope. One banks towards the phantom here. I guess the block. Yeah. Yeah, Braylon's full. I'm sure he'd like to contribute to this fight, but yeah. if he has to take some shots, that's not too bad. But I think these uh, phantoms are going to go after Tendum. He's wounded. He's in the middle. There's the focus and the barrel roll right. And that's a pretty good position. The yeah. two forward might be blocked. Uh, one banks don't matter too much. He could one bank and the, barrel roll back. The in, big thing is he may have gotten the hard one block on this guy up here. Yeah. But we'll see. Looks like looks like he got the block. Yep. Which is really good for him. So what did this guy do? He's stressed. Is the two forward blue? Uh, oh. yeah. Oh, it looks like did, did he do a three forward? Yeah. So Braylon might take a shot, but he's full. Yeah. That is A-OK -okay with him. <clears throat> See, 15 minutes left. Damon's on top. See, one of these B-Wings needs to shoot something pretty soon here. Yeah. There's a blank. Looks like one. There's one on. Okay, good luck reading that. I think he's. I can go check. All right, yeah. Let me know what Braylon looks like. All right, down it back in. Lexicon TV. Thanks for the follow. Braylon took one? Okay. Yeah, you got it right. Cool. 
You know, it seems like very few judge calls in this event. It's been mostly, um, almost entirely arc checks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've had, uh, there, was, there was two rules questions, but they were, they were both pretty, pretty simple. Not, I guess I've just, I've, I've not heard it for some yeah. reason. Yeah. Crazy. So Braylon's not stressed anymore. Uh, now's not really, maybe not the right turn to 2 ta 2 K or anything like that. I, I, decloak. He probably not doesn't decloak up to the top of the board because there's a. Is that a debris there? This. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. No. It's just an anomaly. An anomaly. Yeah. There's a glitch in the matrix. Yep. Yeah. This is a remarkably clear area of the board. Yeah. yeah. Where do you go with these guys? Decloak? That's a good question. I mean, you either split apart and kind of turn in at each other and try to create some sort of kill box. Yeah. Um, I don't think if you decloak the, the same direction, they're going to end up kind of probably bumping into each other. So. Right. Oh, yeah, this guy couldn't recloak. Oh, yeah. Um, he was stressed, relieved it by bumping, so couldn't cloak or yeah, he evade. Didn't, he didn't have an evade action, yeah. have initiative right the the b wings move before yes yeah that's what it looks like yeah you could have a k turn right where braylon is now yeah i mean i think the the guy without the cloak token probably does a hard one or a bank one uh up up towards uh braylon braylon either you know either gets a block or gets a shot most likely, unless Braylon did something more extreme maneuver-wise, but uh, the other one probably, I'm going to guess decloaks down um, back into the rock field a little bit, hard and candy canes, hard yeah. ones back towards the fight. I, don't, I, don't, I think the four straight is vulnerable to a K-turn from Braylon. I think you're right with the one, the one bank. You either bump into him or you get a chance to evade and get your cloak back. Yeah. Of course, we could probably. We, oh, uh, so Tendo is stressed, so he can't do anything. Yeah. Turning around wise. All right, there's the decloak. And there's the 2K. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's going to end up. Yeah. Well, if he there. does, a, yeah, if that other Phantom does a hard one, that could be a bad time for uh, Braylon up there. Yeah. And he's just getting out and clearing stress. <laughs> Sniper in the chat. One bank looks real good right about now. Yeah, it does. Ten minutes left. 97 to 103. Very, very close. Let's see. He's going left. How hard is he doing it? Ooh. Ooh. Very hard. Yeah. Went big. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would have, uh, I would have done the, the short maneuver there and been been aggressive. Yeah. So who gets shots here? I mean, 
Oh, this guy isn't activated yet. Hmm. Yeah, that guy in the the, the the phantom at the bottom there is probably going to do a hard one in here and, and get a shot at. Uh, oh, he did bank? a bank, so he'll get it. He'll probably he'll taking a shot at ten. So either way, yeah. He's going to get half points on ten them, so that's going to make this an even bigger lead. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like range two, able to pull that ruler through. Three dice. Uh, looks like two, hits. two and a blank. Gets juked. Spins it, takes one, and that is half points on ten num. Ninety-seven to one twenty-eight. And neither Braylon nor ten num gonna get shots. I think at this point, you have to kill a phantom to take the lead again. Yeah. And those ones, are they're both pretty full. I mean, they only met down one shield between two of them. So. Yeah. And unfortunately, he's starting to get split apart here, so it's going to be easier for them to stay behind him with their decloaks. I know the guy at the top isn't decloaking this round, but... Or did I he get a cloak token? This guy? No, he didn't. He no. shouldn't have had one. Um, it seems like a two or a talent is obvious. Can you, can you fit a two D cloak forward? Might One, be able to. Two. Um, mm. I would. Uh, I don't know. I might do the um, just go to the, uh, go up up the board there, and because then you're in a possible blocking position on yeah. uh, Braylon on Braylon if he tries to come in at you, and then you move away from him. So that's probably what I would do. Yeah, two forward doesn't fit. You're right. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one. And I think Braylon's still stressed, right? That's what that is. Yeah, because he did a K turn. Yeah. So, not going to do that again. R2 is not going to get you any shots. Could get blocked, so you probably just have to move forward and relieve your stress. Yeah. I might even... I can't, I can't remember what blue maneuvers. Is this, is a bank one blue on that? Let's find out. Yeah. Yep. I might even bank one into the phantom um, to self-block. So that so unless basically the only thing the phantom would be able to do to turn around on you and get a shot would be a K turn. Yeah. So and then if you know you're assuming the other one's probably gonna continue going after um Ten Num or Braylon down there. Uh, maybe relieve the stretch, don't don't get shot at and try to reset. Yeah. But time time is a problem now though, so Yep. All right, well, I got to go play T.O., so. All right, enjoy. <laughs> yep, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so it seems like uh, Sniper in the chat talking about you three hard with the uncloaked phantom to the left to try and kill Tendum. So I wonder if then with Tendum, if you tell him to his left, our right. Mm, gonna try and decloak. Oh, yep, he fits that. Two forward out of Braylon. So it does not go for that self bump. Looks like he took 
took a focus. And there's a one hard, oh no, the one talent roll. Hey, the way that I was hoping. Got a good amount of coverage there. Could actually get to shoot something this round. That'd be nice. All right, that top phantom. Does the three hard just like Sniper wanted. He's saying, uh, definitely thought that was going to come around a little bit more. Yep. I think he took the evade there. And where does this guy go? Three bank. Ooh, he might be able to just barrel roll out if he doesn't want to get shot. Let's see how bad he wants to shoot. Yep, just barrel rolls out. Find a more favorable position. Yeah, no point in trading shots. Yep. Could see a hard turn from Tenum. Could too hard, maybe. just one bank and barrel roll. Probably going to see another T-roll out of Braylon. And where do you decloak these guys? Uh, you could decloak in, at least for the bottommost phantom. Yep, try and block that hard turn potentially from Tendum. I like it. Might even K-turn next turn, if there is a next turn. Ah, it goes in with both, okay. from Tindum. Might actually get a shot even after the bump. He's probably going to wish he had that stress, but... Oh, actually, these uh, these phantoms haven't moved yet, so never mind. Looks like it. Roll as far forward as possible. But let's see where these guys end up. K turn? K turn. Nicely done. Has Juke, won't get a focus. Has a possible range one shot on Tinnum. Big question is, is there range to Braylon? No. Nope. There's a range two and a 10 now. And there's time, so this is the last round. Two on to 10 num. It's a hit crit. Elusive, and that's it. Takes two on Tindum, and I think that is a dead Tindum. 97 to 152. Thanks to both players for playing. Uh, 
got dicey there towards the end for the Rebels, but a good game nonetheless. Thanks everybody for watching. If you're watching live, uh, definitely check out the donation link below the video or exclamation point CAC in the chat. Uh, there is a competition going on between the streamers, so uh, definitely looking to take the lead if you donate on our behalf to uh, campaign against cancer. That's going to do it for this match. I will be back with round five, the second to last rounds. Uh, be back in a bit.